we're heading to the Science Museum because the music festival, MUTAC, is happening inside. Let's go, let's go. So that building is the Science Museum. Yes. Let's go in. Now we're in English, English guide. Where? Here. All about future. Future. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> so me? Yeah. So first of all, that was really cool. It's like all the people who win Nobel Prize including Obama <laughs> and then they have handwriting of what they say just come see <laughs> philosophy love of wisdom I think the Greek language mm. yeah and then Japanese <laughs> I will include the world approach and all will fall behind And they have an app which is, I just downloaded. I'll use this Mi, Mi, Mira Can Mobile app that let you experience way of thinking to create a future. Three steps find why, think about it, and do it. So educational. I feel like I, I'm like a student. <laughs> science. And then visit, exhibit, and touch this mark with your smartphone. Wow. Wow. Let's see. Or just audio guide number 81. Ah, ah, yes, it's not that. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, and the audio guide. Do you think that what you oh. do influences your planet Earth? Uh. Yeah, this is the duck. One is under construction. Right. Okay. That's no, this one doesn't I'm work. Gonna check this. Look at this okay. One. Then, then top, top thirty-two. Thirty-two. Mm. Cause look at this. There's a robot. He was looking at me. Ah. Oh, it's soft. World Paris. This is a seal pop shape. Therapeutic, therapeutic robot designed to help you feel good and relaxed. Do you think that a robot can cheer you up? Do you think a robot can cheer you up? Because I don't think this is a brand new thing. Yes. We just basically was saying how robots can help you feel good and relaxed. Yeah, like Lavot. Like Lavot. Like if you want to see about Lavot, we, we have a whole two episodes about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have like a good time. Yeah. I think just lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we can be uh, not able to uh, touch uh, the surface by a sound, uh, oh. such a vibration. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so, is it fake? No, no, like because of the ultrasonic vibration, you are not actually touching it. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
that was really interesting. He was talking about how some kids saying using that ultrasound technology because it's very smooth. And he's like explaining to me how kids react. Like they're asking questions, ask kids all the kind of questions to answer and trigger their thoughts. The visuals are cool. Oh, so you explain this part because you're reading a book about deep learning right now. <laughs> so these images are from like deep deep learning. Yeah, like smoothly, like kind of morphing transition. Oh, oh. I think in between two images, right. depends on deep, like using deep learning. Yeah, but Michael Jackson's music video is like that when I was kid. <laughs> That's not deep learning, that's just editing. <laughs> do, yeah. you, do you remember that yeah, yeah. really famous yeah. video? Black and white? Yeah. yeah. It was like this. Yeah. But that may, may make that kind of effect easier. Right. Morphing. Yeah, because morphing, morphing. is... Like, yeah, Deep learning. Pretty, no, no, pretty traditional way of editing. Right, right? yeah. Yeah, it's removing everything, not just human face. Ah, I see. Wow. And this is about machine learning, turning the bl old black, black and white movie into color. Yeah. Machine learning to turn a black and white movie into color. Mm. So cool. Yeah, they did like a really good job. I was wondering some of the... Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, what is this? You. Oh. Wow, that's our brain nerve, look like that. What is that sound there? It's like... Dolphin. Oh, that's a dolphin. That's how dolphins communicate. Whoa! You might say the mirror, which simply reflects a light bouncing off the object, is higher resolution than at even the most ultra high definition television. Objects in the mirror look completely real as long as you don't try touch them. Is it enough to look, never touch? Oh, so philosophical! So it's about what makes something virtual. Huh. What makes something virtual? So what makes something virtual? Answer. Hmm? What makes something virtual? Change to the signal. Wow. Digital signal. Uh -huh. Yeah, once something becomes a digital signal, mm. that's virtual, I think. Yeah, your way is very mathematic. Mathematic? Real. Logical. Logical. <laughs> <laughs> my virtual is reflects what we... Because I mean, my virtual can be dream. My dream is virtual. Yeah. No? You say so. Whatever you see, yeah, it's like cannot it's touch, is virtual. Like the signal in the brain. Yes. Yeah signal in the brain so our conclusion of what is virtual is signal of brain <laughs> that makes sense and there's more questions do digital things have an aura you know i feel like a lot of things already evolving so much a lot of very philosophical, like a lot of questions. Yeah, maybe that's why Japanese like science and futuristic because they, when you're kids, make you think a lot. I don't quite remember how I, when I went when China, China, the science museum. I just know the educational system in China made me don't want to ask questions. <laughs> I just have to memorize, that's all. It's all about Mark. Look at that. Oh, like... Oh, that's another robot. 
I'm looking at this robot, they're explaining how when you look at a robot, how you feel about what is human, what's the connection, like how we see a robot. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a sensor, you can feel the human around him. Why he looks so confused? <laughs> there's two of them standing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of anime in Japan are talking about future. And then we have the Doraemon who talks so many times about future robot cat friend. So you have to pick one, one person per one sheet per person, pick one, and then press the earth stamp and check the number of points. So earth where global warming has been stopped, okay, earth where people can always drink clean water, Earth where people can enjoy affluent lifestyles with plentiful energy. Earth where art and culture are abound. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Earth where linguistic diversity is protected. Earth where fish can be eaten all the time. <laughs> Maybe that's your Earth where everyone enjoys good health. Earth without inequality and poverty. That's almost an Indian one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which one do I want? I want art and culture. Healthy. Art and culture combined means what is the art? Oh, uh, in this new, the easy imitation will become creatively lost, but we can overcome by copying. This is cool. Okay, so I choose this art and culture, so I put it in. Here. And then uh, stamp it! Yay! Whoa! That's mine. Did you get yours? Yeah. Health. 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 Nice. And then?
that's just minus one. Minus two. Oh, because the line you draw? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> 40 years, huh? they care about like some people maybe some kids really care about environment like we there are a lot of kids here some kids might care about like energy global warming because if just a concept maybe a lot of kids think it's boring but if you are participating in it and then you will understand more like that is super inspiring to see <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 